Hello and welcome back to my channel and for those of you who are new remember to hit that subscribe button. I really appreciate all the likes, comments, shares and subscribes. It is what keeps the channel going and so remember if you're watching this um, information on my channel continuously just hit that like button and um, I greatly appreciate your support. So thank you very much. Now today we're here to talk about the new moon that's coming up in February. Uh, on the 23rd of February 2020. So let's talk about that new moon because there are some conflicting energies going on here which I'll talk about. But it's an interesting um, new moon. As you all know, new moons bring us a blank canvas. So it's time to plant the seeds, okay? Um, some people may reap be reaping what they have sowed in previous new moons that that is a possibility particularly with this mercury retrograde energy that's coming in and coming around but let's stick with this Pisces new moon and what that's all about so first of all I would just like you to um, be aware that this new moon um, it's going to allow you this is what Pisces does, but there's a few aspects of it, but it's going to allow you to dive very deeply um, into emotions and you and life and everything in a very spiritual way, okay? Because Pisces is, is a um, water sign. It, um, it's quite a high frequency. The thing with Pisces, though, which I'm going to talk about is, you know, we have to watch Pisces don't have boundaries. OK, so it's a very mutable sign. It's a very watery sign. It blends. It's a bit of the chameleon energy. OK, so we'll, we do have to just we'll dive into that a little bit in a minute. But first of all, this Pisces moon is very psychedelic. It has great, great potential. Um, for heightened um, intuitive ability, heightened awareness, heightened inspirational. Um, it will help you connect further or more to source energy. So it's a wonderful energy, um, but it's out there, okay? And, you know, Pisces and Aquarius isn't really structured with boundaries is probably what I was more getting at. But I'm going to, we've also got, you know, Saturn and Neptune there. So we're going to talk about that. But first of all, it's a very strong, dreamy, drifty. Um, and, and, you know, we can use that energy to blend into higher energies, connect with higher energies. So be aware of that. Now we just, I'm going to backtrack a little bit and then go more into the new moon energy. But remember, we've just had a Leo full moon where Mars went out of bounds. That means further than it normally would go. Um, that's more than 23 degrees north or south. So it's wilder. It's more out of control. So we had a lot more assertiveness or to push through to the next level or push through a situation. And Leo was, you know, shining a light on you or a situation, negative or positive, and Mars was giving you that energy more than ever to push through or break through or start something or motivate yourself. So we had that. Then another amazing um, energy on the 12th and 13th of February was what we will call what we call a conjunction with the planets with the galactic center. Now, what does this mean? Um, and um, it's sort of like a conjunction is a direct uh, with the galactic center is like a direct alignment. So you know, bringing um, source energy or higher vibrational energy from planetary energy down through to Earth. So it was a great time to manifest, which I put in my last video, full moon um, Leo full moon video for you. Um, so hopefully you utilize that. So it's great for bringing in things into a new reality, followed up by the Pisces new moon, planting the new seed. So you can see the follow on there. Um, let's have a look. I've got the fan blowing. So if I'm playing with my hair a lot, it's the, the fan here. Now, 
also so the 12th and 13th we have the conjunction of the and a, gal, a conjunction like with the galactic center oh, that's a mouthful then on the 16th of feb we've got this capricorn energy on the world axis and Mars comes in on the 18th. So the 16th to the 18th, Mars comes on. Um, and Capricorn on the 16th of February um, is on the world axis. Now, this is why, this is about closing out karmic cycles. And for the readings I've been doing for the month of January and February, particularly February, so interesting every single reading has come up with the karmic cycles card so um that's very interesting and that's why that makes a lot of sense i also want to add now in here now that the december 26 26 25th i can't remember now there was a solar eclipse december just after christmas that eclipse is now hitting now so whatever was happening around then, go back and look at the video, December 26, that solar eclipse, whatever it was going on then will, could be hitting now or re-hitting now. We've had a line, uh, alignment with the galactic center. The 16th, we've got the world access point, Mars coming in on the 18th, completing karmic cycles and giving us that assertion to complete karmic cycles. So this is big, guys. This isn't little stuff, followed by the energy of the eclipse that happened around Christmas time. So go and check all that information out because it'll give you good direction or clarity or validation or if something has come back up with that Mercury retrograde energy coming in through to the 10th of March, then you you will understand it better. That's what that's what the beauty of all this information is. So the 22nd, we've got Mars conjunct four degrees Capricorn, solar eclipse that hit the solar eclipse on the 25th, 6th of March, uh, December, sorry, that was a bit confusing. Um, so the 16th of Feb, world access. The 18th, Mars comes in, closing out karmic cycles because on the 22nd, Mars conjuncts the Capricorn solar eclipse. So we're looking the 16th to the 22nd here. Um, there's a lot going on then, so I'd say there would be a lot of karmic cycles happening uh, ending or beginning by the way but um, definitely uh, I feel the more the closing out okay so um, now um, just looking here and and mind you this is globally you can see it happening globally or you will in the next few weeks and also personally so where that is for you now the 25th and 26th what is also going on there because the new moon hits on the 23rd and then on the 25th and 6th of feb we have a conjunction with the south node in capricorn and that is going to hit again but um about how authority is being used in the past as a collective so any form of authority whether it's in families um, the community globally um, the collective the world how the world's functioning we're going back at how power and authority is being used and we are closing out karmic cycles we are seeing the the crumbling of systems and this is going on and this theme will continue to go on throughout the year but it's really heightened this month so be aware of that we are still in the uh, I don't want to use the word chaos but the change and you know the revelations and the epiphanies and everything being shown for these systems to come undone. So it's big, it really is big. And as I get into that energy, it's very serious. I even feel like, as we tune into energies when we do this work, I feel the seriousness of it and the people wanting to take action and they want change. There's no more thinking about it, it's happening. All right, so we've got a lot of that going on, but let's get back to the Pisces new moon. What is it about? If you wanna do a new moon manifestation, Here's what I want you to look at. 
The Pisces new moon is amazing. It's, it's a higher frequency if you want to go there. It is raising the collective consciousness energy of the earth to a higher frequency, okay? But the thing is, with the Mars energy coming in, we've got a very conflicting energy. Mars is yang, Pisces is yin. Mars is very earth energy. And Saturn, we've got Saturn there, which I'll talk about in a minute. Very earth. Pisces, Neptune energy. Talk about that in a minute. Very, the opposite. So the conflicting energies here for the new moon take into account closing out karmic cycles, planting new seeds. But here's the thing. What it's going to bring up is this. Pisces is very, um, and Neptune, Pisces, because Neptune's there. Very soul energy, dreams. Um, and we have four planets in Pisces, this new moon. And we've got four planets in Cap Saturn, Earth. Reality, structure, restriction, realization of reality. And then we've got the four planets in Pisces, soul energy, dreams. Um, Neptune can fog you. It's about the invisible. It's about um, visualizing, meditating, going into the higher realms of psychic and intuitive and inspiration and creativity and imagination and channel you know channel writing channel this channel that we've got this really dreamy energy and we're just dreaming about all the things that we want with neptune you know th there are no ground there's no grounded energy there luckily we've got fourth planets in saturn now Saturn saying, oh, you're in this dreamy Pisces energy, so great for manifesting, great for heightening your energy, visualizing, creativity, um, planting new seeds, you know, and being so inspirational in your dreams or fantasies or visions or whatever you want to call them. Saturn then comes in and says, but here's your reality, and here's the reality of all those things you're thinking about. So... <clears throat> excuse me they're two very different conflicting energies okay balancing each other which i like um but just remember this saturn jupiter and mars and mercury are going on there so reality what's realistic whereas the pisces energy <laughs> is not realistic and not looking at the reality of things. Um, you know, Saturn rules visible, discipline. So um, structure, learning from the past and releasing it. The Pisces energy just wants us to go off into la la land. So we have to balance this. Yes, it's great for the spiritual work, the psychic work, the energy work, the manifesting work, new moon ritual work, ceremony work, heightening your vibration, awareness, new ideas. But remember to balance with that um, Saturn reality. And this is what you'll be asking yourself this new moon. So it's... it's um, It is going to be pulling you back into some old patterns and habits. But you'll be looking at everything where you need to change it. So Pisces has, let's say, got the grand ideas and the visions and the dreams and the visuals. And Saturn will come in and say, okay, let's put in a plan. Let's put in a structure. Okay, let's... These need to be rooted into the earth or into action or into a system, okay? And what you're going to do there is, is Saturn saying, we're going to learn from the past, okay? And you're going to change it. So you're going to be pulled back a little bit to look at old patterns, old habits. Um, you need to have a look at Pisces where you're being gentle with yourself and others in this. Um, but the main thing here, the main theme is, it's what are your boundaries? I actually think this is the theme. 
of this Pisces new moon. We will have to check in on our boundaries, mentally, emotionally, physically, or spiritually. It's about boundaries and knowing, and Saturn's teaching you knowing when to give or do and when not to. So there's a real blend, um, it's a very high frequency, I can see that. Um, and that will bring up issues of where you're, you're tied down, where you're weighed down, what's weighing you down, because Pisces does not want to be weighed down with responsibility, restriction, boundaries, you know, all of that. So the negative side of that, you may be shown where you need boundaries or where you need to put system structures and, and that in, and Saturn will do that for you, okay? And the Saturn's the the too structured, the too um, realistic, the too serious, taking things too seriously. And Pisces comes in with that beautiful, visual, dreamy um, energy. So that's the overall energies. Now, if you put that with a galactic alignment on the 12th and 13th, if you put that with um, a world access um alignment as well wow <laughs> and if you're a cardinal or mutable sign you will be feeling that more um the 22nd mars is conjunct capricorn and brings up that old solar eclipse energy around uh the 25th 26th of december and it reactivates that eclipse personally and globally so we're going to see more of what we were thinking and feeling around christmas and it's rebirth time okay so again new moon new energy planting new seeds rebirth planting that's all about breaking through old structures okay breaking through old systems that's what the rebirth card is okay so a lot of you are going to be in this very dreamy romantic energy okay you manifesting you know particularly love the vibration the higher frequencies it's amazing um but again two of cups is about balance well, we, no, you know, giving equally. So again, we can look at this energy in a few ways. Yes, the Pisces is about dreamy and romance and, you know, all our fantasies and visions. But also, if I want to look at this on another aspect, it is about, you know, upside down is not balance, um, not giving equally, boundaries. Okay, when to give, when not to give, who's giving too much, who's giving too little, which comes around into that Saturn and the Saturn-Pluto conjunction energy that's going on and all this eclipse, past eclipse energy. So that is coming up. And the hanged man upside down to me is it is time to um, release. It is time to let go. There is an opening where you can, where you felt restricted or unable. You know, Mars could come in. Hangman up the right way is, you know, you, you don't feel you can get traction. You, you've got no grip on it. You, you, it's out of your hands, let's say. That's the easiest way to explain it. But upside down, it's saying, okay, now that's gone. That's past. So we've got rebirth here. We've got about boundaries, giving and taking, um, how much, how little. We've got the dreamy Pisces energy, but it's not in reality. So it's not up the right way. So if you want to look at that romantically, Okay, that's what you look at. You know, is this in reality? What you're thinking about with love, relationships, connections, all relationships. Are there boundaries? Do you need boundaries? Are your boundaries too strict, too weak, too, you know, all of that? Um, and, and it's not in reality. Okay, and the Saturns goes, oh, that's great. That's a great vision, but let's let's bring some reality into it, okay, which is probably more this. Not, it's out of my hands. It's more the energy from that card at the moment is from what I'm channeling and reading from this information I'm channeling through. It doesn't mean that is the exact interpretation of that card is that, you know, we've, it is in your hands, Okay, and it is time to move forward and step forward. This, 
This knight is, is, you know, wanting death, rebirth, new, new seeds planted, new systems, new structures. And, you know, I see this as the Mars energy, as the confidence to offer something new, whether it's love or emotional connection or um, um, anything, really. It, the Mars is giving us that push to push through and do it where offer, where you couldn't, you know, do it before. So um, it's interesting. The cards are, are actually, we'll just pull a few. Yeah, absolutely. You know, this card, look, I don't, it doesn't matter if it's all relationships, you in relationships, or, um, you know, even if it's romantic or other relationships. You know, it's this is all dreamy, not in reality, um, going very inward, finding your inner light. You know, it, there, nothing about this is being planted in reality. That's the hermit card. That's in the, you know, um, going inward, thinking, you know, not doing. Um, and this isn't doing either, or this is not in reality here. So there's the Pisces energy coming through, and the Saturn sort of... The new moon energy is going, yep, let's change it. Mars is, let's push it forward. And now it's back in your hands. Saturn's like, let's look at the reality here. So all the cards are kind of showing that. And new beginnings, ace of pentacles, abundance, new beginnings. Um, I really like that energy there. Because um, the thing I do, you know, this is very vision, visionary, this energy. A lot of you will be having and experiencing some new visions or, you know, heightened visions or an expansion of visions. Sometimes if you've meditated, not, you know, haven't meditated, didn't do a lot of meditation, um, you may find you really expand in that realm or your visions become very clear. Yeah, you know, this card, um, the, the, the energy here is, you know, move forward, offer it. You've been thinking about it, talking about it, studying it, you know, um, saying you're going to do it, um, uh, plan, uh, sort of planning it but not doing it um, anywhere you've hold back. The swords can be very fast, very swift um, without thinking. Um, we've got this Piscean energy. <laughs> the Piscean is you know, not in reality, inward hermit energy, which I love because that's where you do all your deep spiritual work, you know. It's amazing. Living in the moment. These children are just living in the moment, not a care in the world, in their own world, in their inner child, playing, connected, deeply spiritual, connected within themselves. I mean, there's Pisces sitting in the paddock in dream world right there, which I love, you know, for spiritual work, meditation, healing, going extra. I mean, there it is. There's your deep spiritual work here. And we've got Saturn here going, okay, it's in your hands now. Plant the new seeds. Let's do it. Let's get a new start, new abundance, new flow here. And, and, and we're going to do it slowly and practically. It's a bit satiny here, a bit satin line here. Pisces line here and I feel like that's the new moon line here with the death and rebirth the offers of love or passion it doesn't have to be love to someone it can be love of a job love of a direction love of a um, something you want to do and you know this night here he's ready he's going to present it he's got Mars behind him going I, I can do this now and you've had a lot of thought in it you've had a lot of this is a young thoughts or you know premature thoughts or you know if it was negative not following through you know um not saying what you're going to do or quick thinking quick thinking you know um without thinking it through so um but it's great for ideas and inspiration and sudden breakthroughs so you know bottom of the deck what is the pisces new moon all about deep spiritual intu in intuitive inspirational connection from a very high frequency um, vibe that you can go to and expand your visions and and energy which is deep transformation and new beginnings and this this new beginning sitting on a mountaintop looking over everything a much higher perspective 
This is, this is the top of a mountain looking down. The butterfly, butterfly oh my God, is um, transformation and new beginnings here with the wands, the ace of wands. So, you know, that's, and look at this, closing out karmic cycles, the zero card, the full, ready for a new venture, ready for a new karmic cycle, a new path. They haven't been on it before. It does feel like they're jumping off a cliff, but they're not worried. They're having faith, the dog, faith and loyalty and faith in themselves and the path and the universe. So utilize this Piscean new moon energy um, to really break through death and rebirth, break through the old structures, move forward here into connection of love of whatever, okay? Where you've thought about it, where you thought you couldn't do it, where you felt like, oh, I'm not sure, or, you know, that immature or premature or hadn't thought it through. It's a very dreamy Pisces energy coming through here. Great for manifesting, great for going up, right up there and visualizing and connecting and raising the vibration and then bringing it down into reality here with Saturn. I really like that. Yep, the past is behind us. You know, we still are feeling a struggle or a defensiveness or having to defend ourselves or kind of, um, but we, she's standing her ground, he, she. There's no gender with cards. It's energy. It's, it's a, a trait or a personality trait. You know, standing their ground, their past is behind them. And they're going to move forward. They're going to, you know, it's a real satin making a stance. Put the past behind me. The strength card coming in on transformation. Beautiful. The full card. New karmic cycles here. Oh, which brings an overflowing abundance. The cup is full. It's so full. It's another ace of ace. Ace of Cups, overflowing abundance of new, transformation at a much higher realm and level. You have the strength, you have the courage, you have the light, the energy. Pisces, that higher vibration energy in, in, in Pisces can bring through more light, bring through a higher frequency. You know, the Pisces energy is very um, watery. It's very chameleon energy. It, it could blend very easily into a new beginning, a new way, a new system for some. May utilize that. And look at this. Putting the past behind you, this new moon. Stand into ground. You may be still working hard or defending or to get there or do it or make the changes or in the closing out of a karmic cycle, which is not easy work. Okay, no one's saying it's easy. But the justice card, the balance, your life's balance, justice is coming. You know, this is beautiful. This is a beautiful, beautiful reading for this Pisces new moon. It's so beautiful. I'm getting into the energy of it. And I'm going to apologize now if I feel like I've been a little bit over the, all over the place because the energy when you get into these energies is Pisces is all over the place. Hence my notes. I've made a few notes. I, I've written here, there, everywhere. There's the Pisces energy. I connected in kind of too high, too quick, too deep. It was really funny. And then Saturn made me really serious at some point. And that's how I feel. I feel like I'm on this wave of being, oh, and then Saturn kicks in and makes me get really serious, even within this reading and trying to bring through just the information. It's so funny. And it's coming in very fast because you're going to remember to higher frequency, deeper psychic, intuitive, inspirational energy is very fast, very fast but it's trying to bring you security, stability, foundations. You know, I just got a message then for some of you who have longed for a relationship as in closing out karmic cycles or security, stability, home, foundation. For love, I think there's big transformations and karmic 
cycles closing out, for those of you who are just haven't been able to attain security or stability as in a foundation or felt like you had a strong foundation, you know, I actually think you're in the karmic closeout, you're in the transformation, you're in the new beginning, the new seeds are happening, this Pisces full moon and that energy will go through the year for you. And look at that, it's part the past. The past hurts, the past struggles. So for those of you in relationships, closing out past hurt, past pain, past struggles, past karmic cycles, new foundations, new loves, new connections, new relationships. For those of you that's not about a relationship, it's, it's just where you didn't have security, stability or a foundation, mentally, emotionally, physically or spiritually, you know, the past there is, is definitely closing out. Absolutely. And we're bringing in the love, the nurture. You know, we feel like the mother card, she's the provider. She's got the home, the balance, the nurture, the love sitting on top of this. The past. One quick little side note, this is not for all of you. Some of you may be dealing or closing out a karmic cycle with a mother um, or closing out a cycle. That's only for some of you, a small group of you. Um, or dealing or healing maybe some past issues, pain, struggle with a mother, mother energy. Um, that's only for some of you, not for all of you. Don't make something fit. Um... But for those of you who are not, I feel there's some of you have just stepped into this power of a feeling of getting the security, the stability, the love, the nurture, you know, the money. She works hard. She could be a single mum if she was a single mum. You know, she can go to work, take care of the family, provide a family, loving, nurturing. It's the whole package. So I'm talking about that insecurity, stability, foundation, not you know, within um, your work or your money or anything like that. It's going to be provided now, getting your energy back. And, um, yeah, look at the confidence. Look at the confidence and focus, determination, passion. Um, you know, this guy's focused. He knows where he's heading. So, so maybe do your meditations this month. Um, do your connecting, do your Pisces, Piscean energy, utilize that energy and bring in the Saturn and now pull it into reality and have focus, really focus this new moon. If you're doing a new moon ceremony, new moon setting intentions, planting seeds um, in your mind, in your plans, do it with focus. Now, focus doesn't mean obsession. Focus just means I, I'm going, you know, forget about all the other, I'm going this way and I'm up for that more and better. Thank you. Okay, so we're always keeping it open. All right, we can have an idea, we can have a plan, but we keep it open as well. Okay, more, the universe wants to bring you more. Okay, so this is actually a time for... And I'm going to finish up because I feel like I could keep going and going and going and going. This new moon is a lot of people are going to be focused on what is my ten of cups. Whether it's a relationship, home, career, lifestyle, living, how, whatever it is. Everybody's focused on their ten of cups. There's some deep, deep, deep introspection, thinking, um, going inward, really thinking about it contemplating it, thinking, you know, what is my ten of cups, whatever that is for you, and look at the healing, look at the healing coming in, the faith, the loyalty, the healing, the love, all the pentacles, you know, it's sort of an energy where we're dreaming about our, our or it's a time, let me rephrase that, it's a time to be putting your dreams out there, putting your visualizations out there, doing that higher frequency work, right, of what you truly love, what your heart's desire is. Be in the fantasy world, but let's bring it into reality now and have that focus that it is coming, it's there. It's not coming, it's there, it's happened, it's ordered, it's organised. So the two conflicting energies here, and this is why I brought you this information here today, is to understand we can't be all dreamy 
and no action and we can't be too serious, too focused, too um, structured. We have to find this beautiful balance, this beautiful flow of both. And these are two conflicting energies. So if one's more present for you around this, you're being too serious, slip into that Pisces energy. If you're being too airy-fairy about everything, then slip into the Saturn energy. But just remember too, we've got a bit of Neptune there. Neptune can make us a little foggy. So do your meditation, get into that beautiful deep space and make sure you um, really focus within yourself and um, be clear, Get try and get clarity. Okay, I think I've covered it for you. Um, it's kind of exciting now I, I look into it. The only things I can run over is pull back into old habits a little bit, checking your boundaries or setting new boundaries or are your boundaries too strict, whatever it is for you. But it's about a release. New moons are about planting new seeds, letting go of what isn't reaping some of the old new moon manifestations that are coming through now for closing out some karmic cycles. We do have a bit of a past solar eclipse energy happening there from Christmas as well. Alignments happening with the world world access and galactic centers. Um, so if you can't hear in this message, there's a lot going on. And a lot of it is about closing out getting boundaries, uh, sorry, closing out, focusing on what you want, setting boundaries around that, focusing, planting the seeds of intention and, you know, bringing a new reality in, which is what we're supposed to be doing or a new foundation, okay? New structure, new system within the new energy, within the new reality, the new um, paradigm that we're wanting into the future. That's what 2020 is about. 2020 is a four and it says now we're going to do the work. And 2019 was reviewing everything, renewing everything and 2020 is setting those new foundations. Now my, my readings, my energy readings are about birthday to birthday. So your 2020 with my channelings don't start until your birthday this year. If you're still in your 2019 energy, you've still got this flux of both energies happening, okay? Thank you for listening. I really hope this helps you um, through that beautiful psychedelic Pisces energy and that serious um, Saturn energy for the month. Um, I really feel um, March will be, uh, you know, moving on for people after the retrograde. Um, so let's bring in that energy and do all our manifesting this month. So thank you for listening. Please hit that like button if you enjoyed the information and we'll see you next new moon or full moon. Thank you.